numerous uh, fractures, non-operative management, is it ethical and affordable? Augusto Sarmiento gave the scientific basis to the use of functional bracing in physiological and biological mode of fracture management. The humerus has got no attachments in the distal two-thirds. All the attachments are in the proximal. The rotator cuff, the terrace major, the lattice to side, the deltoid, everything. Terrace major over here, but no attachment because the biceps goes to the bicep velocity and the brachialis will go to the coronoid. So it is stable. Now how does the brace work? Now this is less a fracture and this is the biceps and this is the triceps and the fracture is not braced. So when the biceps or the triceps contracts, it will displace. But if it is enclosed in a tight brace, when the biceps will contract and the triceps will contract, it will cause stability and micromotion at the fracture site and the fracture then will unite. This is the principle. So the brace has to be snug fit with Velcro belts is very important or else due to macro movement, the fracture will get displaced. So the brace has to be very tight, otherwise the fracture will get displaced till it unites. Case selection, low velocity fractures of the humerus, transverse fractures, spiral fractures, oblique fractures, comminuted fractures, lower two thirds. Distal to the deltoid insertion and proximal to the supracondylar. Not indicated for proximal humerus, impossible. Because the brace cannot go above the axilla and there are forces on the top. Non-unions, obese, non-cooperative patients, infections, gap, non-unions, no. It's not useful at all, it's not going to fail. So this is the patient, she had a fracture of the humerus and she is given hanging cast for the first six weeks. After six weeks, after th for the first three weeks. After three weeks, what do we do? The first hanging cast is given for a stockinette and soft roll in a sitting position. This is changed to the second cast at the end of three weeks on stockinate only. And it will not be a full cast, it will be hanging cast from the shoulder up to the elbow. Six weeks, the cast is cut and the arm part, this is the arm part, this is a negative and this is given to the brace maker and he will make a brace from the positive, from this negative to provide fracture stiffness and at that time at six weeks, this is very important, you must see that the fracture is stiff and there is callus. If the fracture is mobile and there is no callus, the fracture is not going to unite. This is the most important thing at six weeks. If you continue beyond that, the fracture is not going to unite. I'll show you in the slides. So at six weeks, the fracture is stiff and it is certainly little immobile. Then you cut this, give this as a cast to the brace maker as a negative and from there he'll make a positive. This is the brace and this has got straps. This is flexion, this is extension and this is flexion. The biceps and the triceps will contract. The brace is stiff, it has got belts. It will not prevent any mobility or it will cause only micro motion at the fracture side. Now I'll give you a few cases of transverse fracture. This was my first case long time ago. This patient had a humerus fracture and she had ovarian cancer with metastasis. They did not want any surgery, but she also had a fracture at the lower end of humerus. So I gave her a hanging cast and a brace. And this is how, this was in 2001. This was my first brace 24 years ago that this fracture united. And subsequently, after two years, this patient expired of metastasis. Fracture of the shaft of humerus with radial palsy. This is the patient, he was given cast and then a brace and this is the union and this is his movements. Next case, this is fracture transverse, callus formation, brace was given, this united and these are his movements, this is abduction and this is internal rotation. One more patient, old patient, multiple problems, multiple comorbidities, comorbidities did not want any surgery. This is how, this was a fracture and this is the, this thing and this got, united in this manner. Now this is one more patient, transverse fracture, she did not want any scars, gave a hanging cast and this is how it united at the end of 10 weeks. One more lady, no scars, 
union. And this is the last case, adolescent girl, maybe your daughter, maybe your niece, do you want to operate and give her a scar? No, I gave her a hanging cast and this is how she united and this is her abduction and this is the internal rotation. Now humerus community fractures. This is a patient, this is a case which came recently but it was done two years ago. Hanging cast, this is a butterfly, so comminuted. And this is how it united totally. This is at the end of two years and this is a moment for comminuted fracture and this is how it united. Again, fracture in the lower third of the humerus. He was kicked by the cow in the barn as he was taking a milking. And this is how he came and this is how the fracture was given brace, a cast, and this is how it united and these are his extension, same patient and this is flexion. One more patient, you have a series over here, 16 July, 6 August, 6 August and 5th of September, you find this union occurring, it must be stiff and it must show callus, otherwise you have to abandon at the end of 6 weeks and this is how it united. And this is the same patient. You see how this brace, this is brace is made of a material, but it must be subtly fitting with these Velcro strapping. That is a must. And he has to keep it 24 hours. He can have bath, that time he can remove. But otherwise it has to be for 24 hours. This is another lady, no scars. This is how the fracture was. Her name, uh, Menakshi or something. And this is how it united. Community fracture, union. One more case. Spiral butterfly union. This was a case from Dr. Mahopatra. He has given it to me because he's also doing that. Builder's daughter, young adolescent, no scars. And this is how, this is the final picture which he sent, complete union. This was the extension that time and this was the flexion. One more case, 24, 2023. Now this is a 2000 of April, recent case. This is the combination, you want to operate, you want to plate, you want to screw, interfrag, this, that, nothing doing, hanging cast, this is how it is done and this is 28th of August 2023, this is September and this is how the union is taking place, this is flexion, this is extension and this is abduction. This is the latest last case. So finally, this was a long time ago in Cooper when I was there. This patient had a compound fracture, very much exposed, compound 3, 3, a 3B it was, yes, 3B. It required skin grafting, this is how it was. So I had done some shortening and external fixator. And this is the external fixator, you can find callus is forming. You have to have callus. He had callus. Removed the fixator, given him a brace and this is how it completely united and this is his flexion and this is his extension. So what are the conclusions from these lower one third fractures? Low velocity transfers or commutated fractures of the humerus distal to the insertion of the deltoid can be treated in a hanging cast for six weeks followed by a tight fit, very tight fit Sarmiento brace, it can be loose. Assess clinico radiologically after six weeks for stiffness of the fracture. It has to be stiff and there has to be callus formation. If not, then surgery is always the choice. The surgery on the first day and the surgery at six weeks will be the same, but most of the cases of lower third of humerus which are low velocity will unite with a hanging cast and a Sarmiento brace. Never for upper one third, as I told you, never for non-unions, never for obese patient because it comes in a way for non-unions, for non-cooperative patients or patients with failed implants. Brace is not meant for that. It is meant for primary fractures. So, though could have been given a conservative trial, all cases, all cases which I have seen since last 48 years at BOS clinical meetings which have taken place on Sundays, all the cases for they were of non-unions, gap non-unions, infected non-unions, broken implants, bone loss, repeated surgery, exhaustion of humerus are the ones who are operated with failed osteosynthesis. At least, at least in those cases you could have conserved, given a slab and then at six weeks assessed. If it is stiff, give a brace and you saw union in all these fractures. Thank you, sir.
Thank you.